I guess you can kind of see where I'm uh, getting at by this point. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it's a uh, pretty obvious right about that, so let's go ahead and get started. So yeah. Hey guys, this is Ackley Attack 4427 here with a brand new thoughts video for all of you guys now. Now, I know I normally uh, do these uh, thoughts videos uh, pretty much the day after I uh, see a movie, but this one I have made an exception because uh, probably right about the time uh, I'm recording this, my I think uh, probably my mom is uh, already uh, away for uh, this weekend and won't be back until uh, some until about pretty soon, I uh, think. Uh, but but I don't know for sure. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I guess if anything, uh, I actually. Uh, I guess you can kind of see where I'm uh, getting at, so yeah. So yeah, I guess if anything, uh, for this special thoughts video, I think it makes sense uh, that I would put it up around uh, on the exact same day I uh, officially uh, saw it, so yeah, probably uh, not all the time, uh, probably as like a one-time thing, uh, but unless if it's something you uh, want to see me do, uh, just feel free to let me know. I. Uh, I mean, I do got a really fast uh, internet in my home right about now, so I'll probably uh, make good use out of it. So I, I might as well uh, go ahead and cut to the chase here. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, I guess if anything, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the Lion King, as you can uh, as you can see that I uh, hold up this uh, wonderful uh, Blu-ray that I did get. Uh, so yeah, I did manage to get my hands back on uh, the original Lion King. So. so yeah, I guess if anything, that's exactly what I'm gonna be uh, talking about, guys. So um. So yeah, I guess if anything, before I get any, uh, before I uh, get right onto a uh, serious business uh, right about now, uh, I think I might as well, uh, yeah, uh, just uh, one minute before I, uh, I just need a nice uh, jug of water. Ah oh, yeah, that's so good. So I might as well go ahead and cut to the uh, chase here, so. On. Now, I guess uh, for all of you guys are wondering, I absolutely love the original Lion King. I think it's absolutely really incredible. I really love uh, the songs, the animation, the characters. Everything about it is just absolutely incredible. I love every minute of this movie, and I think it's uh, probably one of, uh, if not the best Disney movies of all time. So, yeah, and, uh, and not to mention, uh, despite this uh, being about 25 years old right about now, I think it still holds up as a really great movie nonetheless, so... So, yeah, and uh, pretty much everything about it is just uh, absolutely incredible, and even some uh, other uh, aspects, uh, pretty, much, uh, pretty much anything outside of the original, still hold up in my opinion, like it's been turned into a really great Broadway musical, and, uh, and yeah, everything about it is just absolutely great, uh, and... Though technically there are uh, some parts in the uh, Lion King uh, franchise that are bad and everything, uh, but I still think it's absolutely great. So, um, so yeah, I guess if anything, uh, so yeah, I guess if anything, now that the original uh, is about 25 years old, right about now, what can they do to actually uh, celebrate it? Uh, could they uh, re-release it again uh, like they uh, normally do, or uh, do like a uh, special documentary on uh, the uh, legacy? Actually, no. You know what they uh, did instead? They took a remake on it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I guess you can kind of see uh, where I'm uh, building up by this point. So, yeah, I uh, was, I think probably by the time I uh, mentioned the original whole Laga, I guess you can clearly tell that I am going to be talking about the remake that just came out recently. So, so... Yeah, and uh, oddly enough, uh, I uh, did manage to uh, see it right around uh, earlier today. Uh, af uh, with uh, yeah, after an uh, extremely uh, couple of hours of uh, my uh, my uh, morning uh, spent, so so yeah, I think I feel it makes sense that I should talk about uh, the live action Lion King remake because I guess if anything, I'll write about now. It's a uh, right around uh, tradition for me to talk about a live-action Disney remake right about now because, yeah, after uh, what I've gone through with Dumbo and Aladdin, might as well subject myself to this one. So, so yeah, I I figure that's exactly what I'm gonna be uh, talking about for uh, for this one. So, so yeah, I guess if anything, uh, yeah, I guess you can kind of see where I'm getting at. So. Uh, uh, sorry about that. I uh, I seem to be uh, going uh, speechless all right by now because uh, of what I just saw. So, um, 
So, yeah, I guess if anything, I did manage to uh, go see it uh, right around uh, earlier uh, today, officially when it uh, came out. So, uh, so, yeah, and what do I think of it? Well, congratulations, Disney. You, uh, you did it again. You, uh, put out another uh, live-action Disney remake that is just okay. I mean, not good, not bad, but it's passable. I, I mean, uh, I mean, it, I don't think it's actually uh, okay at best, but still had a great time with it as much as a lagging. But I will uh, give you the benefit of a doubt that I got, that I got, it's not as underwhelming as Tim Burton's Dumbo, so... So yeah, congratulations, Disney. You pulled off uh, another live-action remake on one of your anime films that's just okay. <laughs> oh my god, god, so... So, yeah, I guess you can uh, obviously tell right about now, I thought this movie was just okay at best. Not good, not bad, just okay. So, yeah, I, I really don't think it's actually... Uh, a really great movie, or, or is it even one of the worst in my opinion? I thought it was just passable. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. It's just passable. Nothing much else to it, so... So yeah, I guess if uh, anything, I think I might as well uh, go ahead and talk about uh, some of the stuff uh, that I uh, thought uh, in this uh, movie. Like, uh, I think for stars, I think, uh, I think I know it's uh, pretty obvious uh, God, what I should talk about. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I I'm very sorry. I am very speechless right about now because uh, I uh, couldn't make out on uh, what to think about this uh, movie in uh, general. So, um, so yeah, I guess if anything, uh, I think uh, story-wise uh, for this uh, movie, I guess you can uh, preview, uh, I guess you can obviously tell right about now, it is pretty much the exact same thing as uh, the original. So, um, uh, so, yeah, I think there's uh, nothing really new uh, added to it, uh, or nothing uh, to uh, make it uh, its own. It's it's just pretty much doing the exact same thing uh, as uh, the uh, original uh, did. So, But, yeah, I think that's actually uh, what I uh, found a uh, fault uh, with uh, this one uh, for starters. Like, uh, like uh, I do appreciate uh, that uh, remakes are trying to uh, do its own thing rather than do the exact same thing uh, as they uh, normally do, but... Um, but yeah, I guess if anything, uh, doing the exact same thing uh, the uh, the original Lion King did just uh, kind of felt uh, sort of uh, unneeded and not really that uh, engaging to my opinion. Like, uh, yeah, almost like uh, there's uh, nothing really uh, new adding uh, to this one. And uh, yeah, and even the writing, I have to say, is uh, not very uh, well uh, engaging. I think they uh, could have used a little bit of a uh, rewrite uh, on this one, but... Um, But yeah, I guess you can kind of see where I'm uh, getting at, so yeah. And I think another uh, thing that I uh, should probably uh, point out, guy, uh, is that uh, I think for the uh, characters, for the uh, most part, I just uh, kind of felt are not really that interesting, in my opinion. Like, uh, like I do admire the actors uh, pulling off some pretty good performances, uh, which uh, I will get to uh, pretty soon, uh, but, um, yeah, or, yeah, I think I'll get to that uh, pretty soon, but, um, but yeah, I think I just kind of felt that the uh, characters are just not really that interesting uh, to begin with. Like, uh, like uh, I think for uh, stars, I think uh, I think from what I'm seeing, I think uh, I think for them being uh, actual animals, I think they I think they just kind of go like, yeah, you know, what I mean, just uh, just uh, not much emotion. Yeah. So yeah, I guess you can kind of see where I'm uh, getting at with uh, this one. Uh, like, uh, like, but like, uh, like uh, I think pretty much. Uh, I think aside from the characters being uh, not that interesting uh, to begin with, uh, there's hardly any emotion out of any of them. Like, I do get that there are supposed to be uh, real animals and uh, stuff. I mean, uh, I mean, it's basically basically remaking a movie, uh, an old anime film from the 90s that has animals in it. So, uh, so yeah, I guess if anything, the original uh, anime film did uh, get away with. Uh, some really, uh, really great emotion, uh, stuff, uh, which actually does make it all more engaging. And stuff like that, but, um, but the remake, I, uh, will have to say, uh, I, I think there's, uh, hardly any emotion, uh, given to them, nor, uh, did they have any, uh, to begin with, so, um, 
Yeah, I, I think it's, I think I don't think it's uh, terrible in my opinion. I think it just rendered them as uh, lifeless to begin with. Uh, but yeah, I think that's uh, kind of what I uh, felt uh, for the most part. And, uh, but I, yeah, and even the uh, direction, I uh, have to say, like, I, I really do admire John Farrow uh, as a director. I know he has uh, directed some pretty good stuff in the past, uh, but um, I think uh, I almost uh, felt like the uh, the uh, directing uh, in this movie, uh, I just uh, kind of thought was a bit flat and uninteresting uh, from uh, from what I'm seeing. Like, uh, almost like the actors uh, don't have uh, anything uh, that will uh, give out uh, their uh, pretty good performances and uh, whatnot. Uh, which again, I will get to uh, pretty soon, but um, but yeah, I just uh, kind of felt the uh, direction in this movie. I kind of thought was a uh, a bit uninteresting and not really that engaging. Uh, like uh, they could have actually uh, put a little bit more effort uh, into uh, any of this. Uh, so yeah, but I think uh, the one thing I uh, will have to address is probably uh, the actor playing uh, Scar in. Uh, in this uh, one, like, uh, I do indeed apologize if I uh, don't pronounce his uh, name, but, uh, but I felt that I need, I should address this. Like, uh, I think uh, one thing I will say uh, for uh, for the actor that played Scar, I think he might have given a little bit of an over-the-top performance because uh, in the original anime film, uh, Scar uh, is uh, actually really menacing and actually uh, really uh, diabolical with uh, what he's uh, trying to do. That's what made him... Uh, really great villain, but Scar in this version, uh, I just kind of felt was uh, not really uh, that menacing to uh, begin with, uh, and and yeah, like I said, he actually did give out, the actor playing uh, Scar is, once again, giving a really over-the-top performance from, uh, from what I'm seeing, so, so, yeah, I uh, guess if anything, I just uh, don't think it actually uh, does uh, work in uh, my opinion, uh, but... But I know a lot of you guys are wondering, uh, are there any uh, stuff in this remake uh, that I thought were actually pretty good? Well, believe it or not, there are some that I actually uh, really enjoyed, uh, like... Uh, like, uh, I think for uh, stars, I think visually, the film looks really, really great, like... Uh, yeah, like I said, seeing how this is a John Farrow movie, uh, I think he's a, uh, I think uh, I think he has to uh, carry out something uh, visually interesting in this one, and thankfully he does with this movie. Like, uh, yeah, I think he actually uh, carries out the exact same uh, technique when he uh, when he directed the live action Jungle Book remake, which again is still considered to be one of my all time favorite live action Disney remakes uh, so far. Uh, that one was absolutely amazing, and. Uh, and I think in this film, uh, I think with this film, uh, from what I'm seeing, uh, he does carry out that, uh, same amount of, uh, charming, uh, in this one, like, uh, yeah, actually having the animals look like actual animals and actually look and feel live action, which, uh, is actually really impressive. I really love on how this film, uh, actually delivers that, and, uh, I think they did a really great job on that. Yeah, and, uh, and not to mention, uh, the film itself is beautifully shot, like, uh, yeah, I think, believe it or not, this film has some really great cinematography, like, you can actually, uh, over, uh, see the, uh, the, uh, vast landscaping and, uh, and some beautiful, uh, yeah, and actually, uh, some really, uh, beautiful, uh, engaging, uh, shots, uh, I do indeed apologize if I'm being a bit vague on this one, but, um, but yeah, I will say this film actually does have some really great cinematography. I really love like, how they uh, wanted to showcase the uh, landscaping of Africa and uh, play of others uh, in general. Like, of course, uh, the uh, jungle where uh, Timon and Pumbaa inhabiting, uh, and of course, uh, Pride Rock and the Elephant Graveyard, which uh, I did kind of question a bit. Uh, it kind of looked a little bit like Big Thunder Mountain uh, to me rather than uh, the Elephant Graveyard, but... Um, or maybe it's uh, just me. I don't know. So, so yeah, visually, uh, the film uh, looks really uh, great. I really love uh, the uh, use of a uh, CGI and, uh, in this one. Uh, actually, making it look photorealistic, which 
I actually really admire uh, in this uh, movie. I think they did an incredible job with uh, this one. And, uh, and yeah, like I said, the uh, cinematography, I uh, have to say, is actually really good. I really love how it's beautifully uh, shot. And, uh, and I think another thing I too, speaking about uh, Timon and Pumbaa, I think in this version, I think uh, they are actually uh, pretty good. Uh, so... So yeah, I think I uh, do admire uh, the uh, Timon and Pumbaa from the original, but, uh, but I will have to say uh, the remake actually did do a fine job in uh, in uh, capturing their uh, charm and their uh, spirit, and uh, I really love on how uh, they uh, turned out. So well. yeah, and I guess aside from uh, the actor that playing uh, Scar. Uh, on how I feel about it. Most of the actors, uh, I have to say, they do pull off some pretty good performances. Not great in my opinion, but uh, I say it turned out uh, pretty good. Like, I really do admire Danny Glover as Simba and uh, Beyonce as uh, Nala. And uh, and uh, I also really uh, do admire uh, John Oliver as Zazu. I think he actually uh, really uh, carries out a pretty good performance in, uh, in this uh, movie. And... Uh, and I think uh, I did kind of forget the uh, actor's uh, name uh, for uh, Timon, but uh, I do know Seth Rogen plays uh, Pumbaa, and, uh, and I think they uh, they actually are pretty uh, they're they're actually pretty good in this movie. I really love seeing those two on screen. So um, yeah, but then again, uh, I uh, do prefer uh, the original uh, hand. Uh, I do prefer the ones in the original hand sound, but I digress. So. Um, but what really uh, got me surprised uh, out of uh, all of them is that they brought back James Earl Jones to play Mufasa, which I didn't thought that would actually happen, but uh, it was actually, uh, it's actually pretty impressive. So, um, so yeah, I guess if anything, uh, I'm glad they got James Earl Jones back to play Mufasa again because I love him in the original hands down. And uh, even in the uh, remake, I have to say, he does carry out that uh, same amount of uh, charm and charisma into uh, into the character, so um, so yeah, I think it's uh, actually great to uh, see Mufasa uh, or James Earl Jones to play Mufasa again. Uh, I think he uh, does uh, pull off. Uh, I think he uh, does uh, carry out a really good performance in uh, in the remake as much as he did in the original. Ah, oh, yeah, so. Yeah, and uh, I will have to say, uh, the soundtrack in this movie, I have to say, it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, sure, I think uh, they, uh, I think it's almost like they uh, actually uh, ripped a, uh, the instrumental version of the uh, soundtrack from the original, uh, original Lion King and just slapping uh, new singers uh, to uh, do a bit of a karaoke song. Yeah, though I think I will give them credit that they uh, did extend the Malga. Uh, a little big uh, as oh when they uh, did make this uh, bug um I will say the soundtrack itself is not that bad I just uh, I don't think it's that great in my opinion I don't think it's terrible bug um I just wish that maybe it could have been uh, mu uh, that it could have been updated a whole lot more kind of like uh, what Aladdin did previously so um so yeah I guess if anything uh, the soundtrack itself is uh, not that bad in my opinion I just uh, Thought that maybe uh, they could have actually, uh, excuse me for a second. I just uh, kind of thought that maybe, just maybe, it could have been or uh, it could have been or I could have been, uh, I could have said uh, orchestra. Uh, ugh. I think it could have been uh, much more uh, packed out with um with a much bigger orchestra, which uh, yeah, which would have been uh, really nice, but. I guess, if anything, uh, the soundtrack in this movie, it's not that bad, uh, so... So, yeah, I guess, if anything, uh, it's pretty much all I have to say, so... So, yeah, I guess, uh, overall, I say... I say the live-action Lion King remake, I just... Kind of thought was just okay at best, uh, I mean... I mean, is it, like, bad or anything? Not really, uh, to be honest. I mean, there are, uh, other stuff relating to the Lion King that are far worse than this, but, uh... But this one, I just uh, kind of thought was just okay at best. Uh, I don't think it's actually that great as well. Uh, like, like maybe uh, they could have added uh, some uh, stuff uh, to make it its own rather than do the exact same thing uh, the original did. But, um, but I will give them credit. It's a uh, good uh, effort on them. Uh, 
I say uh, they uh, did their jobs fine in uh, trying to uh, do something uh, new and creative with it, but uh, but it's just not really uh, that much more uh, to uh, my to me uh, at least. Uh, so, but I guess if anything, if you uh, actually uh, do uh, want to uh, see it for yourself, I say be my guest. Uh, I say you're not gonna have a problem with this. Uh, so yeah, I guess if anything, uh, the live action Lion King remake, it's got some. Uh, stuff uh, in it that is uh, ri uh that is incredibly uh interesting for the most part but it's uh, but it's uh, i guess in all uh, seriousness it seriously uh lacks uh the uh the uh the uh, magic the original had so so yeah and yeah i guess it's a uh, pretty obvious uh, right about now i'll still always prefer lo the original a whole lot more despite on how i feel about the remake but um but if uh, but yeah like i say if it if the uh, remake is something up your alley, that'd be my guess. Uh, I'm sure you won't have a problem with it, so... So, yeah. That's uh, pretty much what I gotta say. Uh, the live-action Lion King remake, it's got some stuff that is incredibly interesting, but it seriously lacks uh, the uh, charm and the magic of the original, so... So, yeah, it's uh, pretty much what I gotta say about that. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I guess if anything, for my uh, final score right about now, I will have to uh, give this movie a, a decent 5.5 out of 10. So so yeah, not good, not bad in my opinion, uh, but uh, but somewhere in between. But but hey, I guess I'll, I guess if anything, uh, I don't think it's uh, as underwhelming as Tim Burton's Dumbo. But at the same time, I just don't think it's okay at best. But still had a good time with it as much as a lag and bugger. But I'll let you be the uh, judge for yourself, so um, so I guess if it's something up your alley, then I do recommend it hands down, but if you want something that is uh, that actually does capture the magic of the original, then I say I think we still got a long way to go before a, li uh, before a lion cub could become a lion king, so, so yeah. That's uh, pretty much about it. Yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, thoughts video, uh, which did take me a little while to uh, get out to you guys, but hey, it's finally out right about now. <coughs> oh, excuse me for a second. Um, yeah. Must have been uh, choking on that uh, popcorn and stuff, but, but I dare guys, so, so yeah. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this special uh, thoughts video that I finally got out uh, and hope it'll actually uh, encourage you to actually uh, see it for yourself. Uh, yeah, just to uh, see what you think of it. But but yeah, that's uh, pretty much about it. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, I guess as usual, uh, feel free to uh, let me know in the comment section below on what you thought of this movie as well as uh, leaving me constructive criticism and or advice on how I can improve my videos in the near future. And of course, uh, feel free to email me uh, if you uh, want to book me for a con or event or if you have any uh, questions for me in particular. And of course, follow me on my social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram uh, and plenty of others that I have provided if you want to keep up to date with me uh, and stuff uh, and of course feel free to uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos uh, like this as well as turning on the notification bell so so yeah that's uh, pretty much about it again thank you guys so much for watching this special thoughts video I know it took me a little while to uh, finally uh, get to uh, this point uh, right about now but hey I finally got this out to you guys so hopefully you uh hopefully uh, something uh, good uh, comes out of it uh, and uh, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.